lesson is another lesson on one-step inequalities, only this time we're going to focus on problems that have to be solved using multiplication and division. We have one special rule, and this is very different from equations, um, that you have to follow when you're dealing with an inequality. Anytime you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality symbol. And that's really, really important. A lot of times people forget to do that. And we'll show you plenty of examples here, but um, that's the main rule you need to keep in mind with inequalities. So let's start here. Um, the first problem, we start right off with a fraction. We don't really have to clear the fraction in this case because it's just a one step. So we're just going to go ahead here and multiply by the reciprocal. So we're going to multiply both sides by 3 fourths. 3 fourths times 4 thirds cancels to give us just x. And just like before, we're going to bring down the inequality symbol. That doesn't change. And then if you want to throw a 1 underneath the negative 2, just to make it a little bit easier, you can. So we would multiply straight across and get negative 6 over 4, which we'd probably want to reduce here. Both have a factor of 2. Um, so bring that down. x is greater than negative 3 halves. Now you may wonder, why didn't we flip the inequality? Because we got a negative answer. We did not multiply or divide by a negative. We multiplied by a positive 3 fourths, so we did not change the inequality. Now, as far as graphing, if you recall from our last video, you just make a quick little number line, put the negative 3 halves in the middle. Because it's a less than symbol, we are going to use an open circle, and then we're just going to shade off to the right because it's greater than. All right, number two. This time, we just have to divide by 3. Again, we're dividing by a positive quantity, so we do not have to flip the inequality symbol. Um, we will get a negative answer, but that's fine. So the 3 is cancel. We bring down the x. We bring down the less than or equal to. Negative 18 divided by 3 is negative 6. When we draw the graph, quick little number line, negative 6 in the middle. This will be a closed circle because of the equal bar underneath the inequality. And then shade off to the left because it's less than. All right, here we go with um, a problem where we're going to have to apply our special rule. Here we have negative 5 times x. So we're going to divide both sides by a negative 5. Here's where the special rule comes in. I don't know, maybe write yourself a big note here to flip. Um, when you cancel off the negative 5, you'll be left with x, but then you have to switch around the inequality. So instead of a greater than symbol, we're going to have a less than symbol. And then obviously 20 divided by negative 5 is negative 4. Now you may wonder why we're actually flipping it around with the negative. If you picture a number line, the further left you go, the smaller the actual value. So um, inequalities are a little bit different when you're dealing with negatives. Now when we graph it, nothing changes when we graph. We still do the negative 4. We're going to have an open circle. Only we don't look at the original problem anymore. We look at the solution um, where it says x is less than negative 4. And we have to shade off to the left. So we're going to just shade that way. All right, another example here. We have x divided by 7. Um, here, all we have to do is multiply both sides by 7. The 7s cancel. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. We just bring down the inequality here because, again, we did not multiply by a negative, so nothing changed. Graphing should be easy by now. You've seen enough of them. Negative 14 goes in the middle. We use an open circle, and we shade off to the right. Number five. This one's a little bit tricky. I don't know if you should circle that negative sign, but a lot of people miss that when they see it in front of the fraction. Just make sure that you note that that negative's there. And we've got x divided by 4. We're going to go ahead and multiply both sides by a negative 4 right away. That'll cancel both the 4 and the negative. Again, we have multiplied by a negative number, so we need to flip that inequality symbol. So switch it around from a less than or equal to to a greater than or equal to. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. So the process itself is pretty easy. The hardest part in this is going to be remembering to flip that sign when you multiply or divide by a negative. This time we're going to have a closed circle, and then you're going to shade off to the right. Last problem here. This one's a little bit different, um, just because the x is on the right-hand side, but we'll deal with that in the end. We're going to start off by dividing by a negative 6. Now here's where our special rule comes into play. Um, 42 divided by negative 6 is negative 7. 
We have to flip around that symbol though. So instead of a less than symbol, it's going to be greater than. And then we have x on the right hand side. But if you recall in our first video on inequality basics, when we talked about graphing, we talked about the variable has to be on the left hand side. So now we're going to read it backwards. We are not flipping the symbol back. We are simply reading the expression backwards so that the x comes first. So we would say x is less than negative 7. Again, it wasn't a flip, it's just reading it backwards. Then we go ahead and graph. You make your number line, you put negative 7 in the middle, and shade off to the left because of the less than symbol.